Hello and welcome to Beer Tier, the German engineer. Today, we are back with Oxygen not included with the Spaced Out DLC. Last time around, we built some infinite storages, but today we really need to get started on our industrial brick. So let's hop over there and see how that works out for us. All right, and here we are. This is once again what our base currently looks like. It's getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and we will not stop anytime soon. So let's take a quick look what we did last time around. Last time around, we built two infinite storages. One is right here. We have an infinite hydrogen storage. We're currently 145.4 kilograms of hydrogen in there. Up here on the top, we built the same exact setup just for natural gas, and we have 52.9 kilograms in there right now. And over here on this end, we are having water. Currently only 2.6 tons in there, but it's getting more and more over time as our water gazier down here gives us more water. But we need to get started on our actual power break. And the other thing that we need to do is we need to get this natural gas into there and we need to make sure as soon as this one here comes online, it is currently dormant, but shouldn't be for much longer. We get all this gas and we put it over here. That is also very, very important. Let's take a look. The uh, natural gas comes out at 150 degrees, so we need to put some gold in there. So I think we're going to start with those two things. So first of all, over here on this end, we are going to build insulated tiles and we're just going to plop them down all the way through. And then the same thing just right here and come all the way back. This is the first thing that we need. And then we're going to leave a space of four and we're going to come right across back over and then another space of four right across back to the other side and then of course another space of four and back to the other side this here is what the very very basic setup looks like for our power brick a hell of a lot more will go into that but that is what we need first so let's get that built and then let's go back over to our natural gas and make sure that we get that taken care of as well and now it is time to dig into this area right here. We need to make sure we get all this stuff here out. We're going to do this pretty easy and straightforward. We're going to build a ladder up on the left side, which should then give us the option to dig out this one here with a number nine priority and everything else with a number seven. And that should help us get all this stuff here out. What we also will need in here is going to be a filtered gas pump, the one that I got from a mod. And we're going to put a filtered gas pump in here made out of steel. Because, once again, when we look here, the natural gas is coming out at 150 degrees Celsius. That is quite hot. And just to make sure that we don't ever have to enter this area here ever again, we're going to make it out of steel, because steel gives us an overheat temperature of plus 200 degrees. The normal overheat temperature is 75, and it's literally that easy. So we're going to take it, and we're just going to plop it here somewhere in the middle, somewhere right there, that should be fine. We build some insulated gas pipes out of it. Uh, we're going to come over here and just all the way down to the bottom and then follow this one out of here. That should be fine. And of course, we will also need some power in there. The only thing is, once again, the heat in here. Currently, all these wires here, let's take a look or build out a lid. Lead is not going to fly because of the heat. So let's grab our wire and let's make it out of something like iron. Iron should be enough to not overheat and supply our pump here with power. Wonderful. Now we just need to make this all here a number nine priority for construction only. Construction. So that actually gets built rather earlier than later. And that's all we should ever need. Wonderful. We will let a bunch of this natural gas out. That is just how it's going to go. I can't help it, but that's fine. No problem at all. The natural gas will just come all the way down to here. And we remember we put in those pumps right here. And currently, we are already at the point where we are actually pumping oxygen out into space, I believe. Let's take a look in our overview. And sure enough, there are some oxygen particles in there. We definitely don't want that. So what are we going to do? We're going to take this whole setup and we're going to put it further down. Not a big issue. I'm going to do that right away. Just going to pause the game and I'm going to put it right down here, all the way on the bottom. We're here. Our pump is built. Now we just got to set it to natural gas. And of course, what we also need to do is we need to put in a Atmo sensor that I'm also going to build just out of caution, out of steel. Um, and I'm just going to plop it in here somewhere. It doesn't really matter that much. Somewhere right there. And an automation wire coming up to there. So we can actually control this thing here and tell it what to do. Because currently it will just pump. Uh, it's already set to natural gas actually. I did that a second ago. Wonderful. And now this area over here is completed. 
We have our Atmos sensor, our filter gas pump, the door is locked, our analysis is complete, and it will become active again in 16.7 cycles. Perfect, that is exactly what that should look like. So in 16.7 cycles, we should get a bunch of more natural gas pumped over in this area, which is exactly what we want. Perfect. Meanwhile, down here, we have our filtering system back active. Currently, of course, it's only carbon dioxide that we are pumping straight out into space. But if we should ever get down to a point where this down here becomes natural gas, we will be ready for it. And also the natural gas will be dumped all the way up to here. Perfect. And then we still have two more inputs in case we find another gazier or whatever. We are ready to roll. That is future proofing one on one. Over on this end here, we also try to pump all the hydrogen out of this area. Of course, every single little piece is uh, impossible. We can't just leave this pump here if you wanted to, and it will still never be everything. We got a lot out of it, and all we have left is a little bit of natural gas that will also eventually go all the way down to the bottom here. But I think we can also rip this here out. This is not ready to go. And all this hydrogen in here is now produced by this one single electrolyzer. That's all we have, and that's all we currently need. And there is nothing wrong with that. Wonderful. And now the guts of our power brick over here is completed. So let's start putting some stuff in. First of all, we will need, let's take a look in uh, utilities, a thermal aqua tuna made out of steel, and it goes all the way over here onto the left corner, just like that. And then we will need a liquid reservoir and we're going to build it on the top right above it. Just like that once again. And next we need another piece of equipment that will go right above here. We're going to wait with it just a little bit longer. What that will be is in power our steam turbine. It's going to go right here. So let's just take a look real quick. If I build one here, build one here and I build one there, we can build three of them right beside each other. That should work could actually leave a double space if I leave a double space here and a double space there that would actually work out even better but we only have the resources currently for one so we're only going to build one made out of iron and that should be plenty um, actually we're gonna wait we're building this here entirely we are first gonna build all this stuff here we will need some plumbing and whatnot so let's see we're gonna come with this one down to here and with this one here on to the bottom and then with this one, we're going to come out and over. And then we're going to slap a liquid bridge onto here. And that is so no matter what happens with this one here, it will always be able to supply us with water. The cooling loop will never stop. It will always run around. And actually, I completely forgot about something. This here, I can't have. It actually needs to come around because we need to have a sensor in here. So that's quite important. Uh, let's make sure we get that as well. So we're going to tear this here out. We're going to cancel this one right there. And then instead, we're going to come with our plumbing insulated pipe all over to here, back down to the bottom. And then we're going to come over to here, something like that. That should be fine. It literally makes no difference. So we're going to do that. All right, here we have it, our basic setup. And what we need now is a sensor. Let's take a look. We need the liquid pipe thermal sensor. We're going to put that into here. And then we need a automation wire that comes from here into there. Made out of iron, preferably. Very good. That's what we got. And that's what that should look like. Wonderful. Next, we can put in the plumbing for our metal refineries. Uh, at the beginning, we're only going to have one, but we're going to future proof it. And we're going to make sure that we are able to put in more than one uh, later down the line. So we're going to build with a liquid radiant pipe. Let's take a look here. Right here, that should be the edge. We're going to come over one, two tiles, one, two. Then with this one here, we're going to come down, going to come further over, kind of like this. And just like that, that should be all that we need. Just this here on the bottom, of course, shouldn't be radiant because we want to come out here with an insulated pipe exactly like that. And this whole structure here need to be duplicated just all the way down. And that's what I'm going to do right now. And here we have it. That is exactly what that should look like once it's done. That is great. Next on the list, a refinement. We're going to grab us a metal refinery and we're going to plop it right there. And if you take a look at our plumbing, we can just come with the insulated pipe right up to here. And then down here, we're going to come with our input pipe. So we're going to have the input here and the output right there. And then we're going to just loop it around and dump all the heat up here on the top. That is exactly what that should look like. Let's take a quick look at our coal reserves right here. We have 27... Yeah, we have roughly 35 tons. That should be plenty. But since we are pumping all of our excess crap out into space, we might as well go ahead and grab this coal that we have over here. We're just going to dig out this entire area here and we're going to grab all of it. I think that is a pretty good course of action. So why don't we do that right away? 
Um, we're gonna just uh, start building a couple steps right there. And then just four high, we're gonna come straight across here. Without regard for anything, screw it. We're just gonna let all this chlorine here out into the base. That's fine. It's gonna settle down on the bottom. Not a big deal. I am not worried about it whatsoever. Then over here, now that all this here is built, we need to put in some power. We need to put in some all sorts of stuff, actually. So let's see. When we go into our power overlay, right here is where our power comes over. Um, where can we do that easiest? Probably somewhere right here. Yeah, that would actually work out perfectly. Wonderful. So we're going to go into power. We're going to take our heavy watt power plate, plop it right there. And then we're going to build our heavy watt wire. Just literally straight across here and hook it up to our main supply. And with our heavy watt wire, we will also come over to here all the way over. It will take in the power from the steam turbine. But at the same time, we're going to build it down here. We're going to come across here. 1200 watts. We're going to go straight in with that thing. That's fine. And then we're going to build it all the way along here. So we have it ready for when we need it. Obviously, we're going to join it all together with those heavy watt plates. Wonderful. That is exactly how I imagine that. And meanwhile, I'm also going to tell our dupes to keep on digging. We want to expand this area here drastically. So we're going to dig out another four tiles. And we're going to put in directly another floor. Just like that here. And this here should give us another whole floor of happiness. That's going to be good. That's what that should look like. All right. This whole area over here is now dug out. It's just an empty space for right now. Not sure what we're going to do with it, but I'm sure we will find some use for it. But now we can see we have a bunch of chlorine in here. I put a couple of airflow tiles in here just so the gas can exchange and eventually sink all the way to the floor where our two pumps are still working away wonderfully. But first of all, back to the power brick. I have dug out a little bit more space, <laughs> just a tiny little bit. I'm going to tell the dupes uh, just with a level five priority, doesn't matter, to get all the stuff here out. But so far, so good. All right, what do we need next? Next, we need some uh, fluid in here, I think. We also need some more power. Can't forget about the power. So down here in the bottom, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build in power a large transformer. We're just going to plop one right here. We're going to plop one right there. We're going to plop one on every stage. It's not going to be in our way all the way down here, um, but we will need it eventually. And then we're just going to come out with a conductive wire. We're going to come over to, let's say here, that should be okay. We're going to come straight up here all the way through. Then we need a bridge right there. And then we're going to build it straight into there. So this here is properly supplied with power. Then the bridge right there. And that should be that. Wonderful. And if you take a look now at our coal, we have 20 in here, 12 in there, and another 10 in there. So now we are well over 40 tons and we can sustain ourselves like this here for a very, very long amount of time. That is great. And I think we're going to move this whole operation over to here. Since over here, we do not care about the carbon dioxide or whatever else we're going to throw out here. None of that gas that's going to come out here matters in the slightest. So I think I'm going to do that right away. Here on the bottom, we are just going to build us our, where we yet coal generators. And I think, um, I think we're just going to build the four that we have on the other side with one space in between. That should be fine. The only difference is that right here in the middle, we're only going to have one battery. I think one smart battery. Let's see if we can make that happen. And we're going to come through here with a heavy water wire. We're going to grab it. We're just going to build it straight through here. We're going to stretch off all the way to the top here and into there. Just like that. Actually, let's stop that here for a second because we don't really have a way to get out of here if we build it like that. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take the wire once again and we're going to build it all the way to the ceiling and we just want to plop it into there. It's going to be the same difference. Doesn't really matter. It's going to be good. And then a smart battery right into here with a automation wire that we need as well. Going to come along all the way to all of those here. We're either going to run all of them or we're going to run none of them. That's going to be okay. It's just going to be on, off, on, off, on, off. But that doesn't matter. No harm, no foul. And now that they're starting to build this, all we have left to build is our storage bins. We're just going to plop four of them right here. Uh, so we have always plenty of storage for our coal. And they're just going to pick it up from the front and bring it back to wherever they need it. That should be okay. We just got to get it built. And as soon as that is done, we're just going to transfer all this coal from over here to over there and get this one here going. Wonderful. Then here in the top, I think all this, what we need in here is actually done. All that is left is um, liquid vents. How many steam turbines did I say we can fit here? Uh, I think we can fit one, two, three. Three steam turbines is as much as we can fit here, right above there. And we're going to have one, two, three outlets. Yeah, that's going to be fine. That's exactly how we're going to build this. Good. So now we're going to hop into plumbing. 
we're going to grab a select event. We're going to plop one here, one here, and one right there. And that should be that. Great. On top of that, we of course need all the pipe. We're just going to come out of there. Because once I seal this here off, I do not ever want to enter it again. We can also start building out a cooling loop at this point in time. I think we're going to go straight forward and easy with it. We're going to come down here, going to come all the way over. And we're going to build it through the floor all the way. We can always branch off of it however we feel like. Which is exactly what that should look like. And then we're going to come back all the way to the bottom. Over to here. And then we can just over here come all the way back up. And then right here we're going to come over all the way out to the end. And then all the way up here on the top. Actually, one lower, I believe it is. Yes, one lower. Come over to here and into there. That is what the entire cooling loop looks like. We just need a couple of our liquid bridges. One right here. And is that already it? That may actually be already it. Yes, that is all we need. That is what our entire cooling loop looks like. Wonderful. The next question is, what are we going to fill this loop with? That is also a good question, but a very easy one to answer. And that's going to be polluted water. So how are we going to fill it up? I could build an entire piping system all the way from the right to over here. But we don't really need that much water, to be quite honest. So what we're going to do is we're just going to grab a tile and we're going to put one right here. And then we're going to put another one right there. On top of those tiles, we're going to build two bottle emptiers, one here and one there. And then we're going to grab us a liquid pump. Where you at, liquid pump? There you are. We're going to plop it into here. We're going to take a pipe and all we have to do is we literally just have to hook it up to our cooling loop, preferably to the return loop, which happens to be right there, just like that. And then all we have to do is we need to bottle up some polluted water, plop it into there, put it into our cooling loop until it is all the way filled up and we go from there. Pretty easy and straightforward. Shouldn't take too much time and not too much resources either. All we have to do here is we're going to come over and hook our pump up to this. Great. And these here we can turn on. We're going to tell it to put in polluted water with a number nine priority, enable auto bottle. We're going to copy the setting and put it onto this one. And that is literally all we have to do to get this here going. And now this entire system here is built. There's only a couple things left to do. This here, we're going to set it to something like 80 and 20. That's great. And then these here, we're going to set to exactly what these over here are set to. And we're going to copy the settings over. Wonderful. And also this one here, the fuel request threshold should be really high. So we're also going to copy these settings over. And that is literally all that should be needed to slowly but steadily transfer it over, other than actually moving the physical coal into this direction. Soon, no more carbon dioxide production in this area. Great. And with this cooling loop here, we are basically trying to get a steady loop around here and then some extra since we potentially will branch out with our water. But that should be not a big deal at all. We already have a steady loop and we currently have about uh, 600 kilograms in there. So we can basically stop this here in a second and that should be fine. I just realized I made a mistake. I accidentally forgot to turn off the thermo aqua tuner so it completely overheated and killed itself. Now it comes really handy that I made more steel than we actually needed. I could have made the exact same amount that we need, 1200 kilograms, but I made more. And yeah, I expected to make a mistake. Let me put it this way. <laughs> So let's take a look here. Our cooling loop is now completely filled all the way around and we are having 10 kilograms in every single loop here at a chilly 1.9, 0 0.9 degrees. That is once again only because we already turned the thermo aqua tuna on. Of course, that was not intentional, but now we can actually finish the rest. All right, let's do that. We're going to grab an insulated tile and we're just going to block this here off. We will not enter this anymore. We have everything in there that we will ever need. Wonderful. Now that this here is blocked off, we need two different fluids in there because, as we can see, we still have a bunch of gas in there. One tile of oxygen and the rest is all polluted oxygen. We don't want any of that. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually break some of these here. We're going to deconstruct this one and this one and this one. And now we're going to build bottle emptiers here and here and there and there. And we're going to fill up this whole thing here manually. Shouldn't take too long. Pretty easy and straightforward. And first of all, what we want to do is we want to set it to 9, enable auto bottle, and we want polluted water in there. Polluted water on the bottom layer, that is the first thing that we need. We are going to copy the settings to all four of them, and we're going to try to get a good amount of uh, polluted water in there. Basically just enough to cover the entire bottom. The rest will be filled with water. And now that we have our polluted water in here, it is time to switch this here over from polluted water to water. And re-enable auto bottle, and of course copy the settings all over. Now we gotta fill that sucker up with water. 
Now you're asking why are we actually doing this? The reason is being we want to create a vacuum in here. Here on the bottom we have now polluted water and on the top we have now water or we will have water at least very shortly and it's gonna push out all the other gases. That is the general idea. That's what we are doing here. So once all this here is nice and full with water and with polluted water then we have enough and then we can seal it back off on the top and put our steam pumps on and actually start working on it. And now I have just officially moved our entire coal generation over to this side here. Currently they are fine, they are generating a little bit of heat here on the bottom. It is still very cold in this area, so the cooling loop is not yet online, which is fine. And the reason for that is that we still have not closed off this area right here. But that should solve itself in a second. Let's see why do we not fill it up with water. Reason being is we have one piece of carbon dioxide here and that cannot escape. That is an easy fix once again. We're gonna just put a airflow tile on the left and on the right. And we can see that now that the airflow tiles are built, the carbon dioxide moves into the airflow tile. At least on the left side here, it cannot go anywhere else. Now if we fill it up, it gets deleted. And easy as that. And now if you look in here, in our F4 overlay, we have polluted water all along here. And we have water all along there. And now we can also fill up those corners here. We don't need them anymore. That's perfect. And then our cooling loop will also start working again. Once again, I've turned this here off. It will not be above 100 degrees. I'm pretty certain about that. <laughs> so all we have to do is build this one tile here and our water in the cooling loop will start flowing again, which is exactly what we want. Wonderful. And let's take a look in our overview. The water starts flowing. It bypasses the liquid aqua thuner, and it comes all the way down, flows through the entirety of our layout here, comes back up in a perfect loop. I may have put a little bit too much water in here because this thing here is still full to the brim, but that's fine will not cause any problems because we will extend this cooling loop here eventually anyways. Perfect. That's exactly what that should look like. Now here in the top, let's see, we have 145 kilograms per tile of polluted water and on the top we have 265 so we can put a little bit more in there. Will not cause any harm. Down here on the bottom, we just need to make sure that our cold generators keep being fed, which our dupe should do diligently. Just like that. Wonderful. That is our only power for right now. But over here on the other side, let's see. Our natural gas gaze here. Oh, it's uh, erupting right now. Look at this. It's erupting. And our filter gas pump is putting all the gas over here. And we are now at 176 kilograms. So we can implement this here very soon as well. And up here on the top, we have now, what, 500 kilograms in there? Something like that. Yeah, I think that is more than enough. We have 500 on the top and 100 on the bottom. So all we have to do is now we have to deconstruct all of these bottle empties here. We won't need them anymore. That is for sure. And then goodbye. Sayonara. See you next time. And over here, we're just going to close up our loop. Easy as that. Wonderful. Now here on the bottom somewhere. And I'm not entirely sure where we're going to do that. We could just do it right here, for example. Right here may be a good area to build a liquid lock. And we're just going to plop in a couple tiles here. So let's see how that's going to look like. We're going to build it our insulated tile because this is where we're going to make our petroleum from now on. So let's build that. So we're just going to make it insulated tiles. Maybe something like this long, maybe something like that. Yeah, that should work. I don't see a reason why that wouldn't work. And this is what the standard design for a liquid lock looks like. Not like that. Huh. Good grief, can't even build a liquid lock anymore, it seems like. There we go. Here we have it. That's the liquid lock that we need. We just gotta put a little bit of fluid in there. We're probably just gonna use crude oil. Do we have a pitcher pump down there? Yes, we do. So we're gonna use crude oil, just so we don't get any problems down the line with overheating or whatnot, because currently it's really cold in here. So the water will may actually freeze. Um, later on, it may get a little bit warmer. Not sure yet how that's exactly gonna look like, but our cooling loop here should definitely get the job done. Currently, the polluted water is at negative 4.8 degrees. So yeah, it should be a good while until we get a problem with that. Then once again, we will need a bottle emptier. Let's see, we may need to delete that one single tile right there, but that is okay. We're going to deconstruct the tile, going to put a temporary ladder in so the dupes can get over there if they need to. And that should be it. That is literally all that we need right now for our setup. And then right beside over here, let's actually build our setup just so we have it. We will need a refinement, I believe it is. Yes, our oil refinery. Well, let's see, we're going to turn it around. We're going to plop it in there just like that. And right beside it, we are going to build, where are we? Two liquid reservoirs, one right here and one right there. And this is as big as our room has to be. So we're going to come over a little bit further, leave a little bit more space. Build a tile right there, so I remember where we ended. And that should be that. Now we can just put in some plumbing. So let's take an insulated pipe right here. We're going to come up to here. 
we're gonna build two liquid bridges let's see this way around gonna build one right there and another one right here and then our insulated pipe is gonna come into both of those and we're gonna come over here and out just like that and this is literally how we are going to build our setup it's literally that simple we're gonna have our two liquid bridges over here so liquid will always flow and then we can also have a sensor right here that turns it off in case both of those should ever be full just to realize I made a tiny little mistake, I moved over my bridges once and I turned this one here back around. There are reasons for that and those reasons are that here is the wheel that our dupes actually turn. It makes more sense to have it on the right than on the left, just so we have a little bit of a shorter way. Um, it is not a hell of a lot, but it will definitely add up over time, there's no question. And right here, the only way to build a sensor right there, a liquid element pipe sensor, is to have one free space right there. So I'm going to implement that one here and I'm going to build an automation wire that comes all the way down to here. We're going to close this whole entire thing here off and then we will need a let's see we need a vacuum pump that we're going to plop right into here that's fine but before we can do any of that we of course need to fill this whole area here with crude oil so we're going to say crude oil enable auto bottle with a number nine priority and then we're just going to fill the sucker here up with crude oil to make sure nothing gets in or out once we get there from the left over we're going to build a conductive wire we're just going to come straight through the wall here and we're going to hook it up to here and then we're also going to hook it up to there and all we're going to do is we're going to come with our ventilation insulated gas pipe we're just going to come up to here and we're going to build a high pressure gas vent i don't know what the pressure here is it's pretty high you just need to make sure that we can vacuum out this entire thing here and right here i just started building the piping network that we need to get our crude oil up to our refinery come over here to the left and build up here that should be fine. That's going to stay there anyway. Great. Going to come over here. Going to come all the way up. And where can we come over? Right here. Yeah, that should work. Don't see a reason why it wouldn't. Come along here. All the way over. All the way up. What piping do we still have here? But before we do anything else, we're going to get rid of all this piping here. We don't need that anymore. That was just to pump out some polluted water. So we're going to get rid of it right away. Just like that. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And once all that is done, let's see, our liquid lock here doesn't look too bad. Gonna put in maybe another 200 kilograms. And we have a vacuum in here as well. Ah, looking good. We are getting something done today. Look at this. And down here on the bottom, I think it is a good idea to put in a bunch of atmos suits. Um, let's see here. One, two, three. Let's leave a four space as we usually do. And build in some insulated tiles just like that. And then we're going to get ready once those are built to actually put in the atmosphere dock and we get rid of this piece of stairs right here. So when the dupes want to come down here, also this one, the only way to get down here is with an atmosphere. That is the general idea. That's how I would like to have that. There is no other way to get down to this general area anymore when we are done. What are all these hatches doing here? Let's wrangle up all these hatches here and slaughter him. How about that? And just running around here. The dupes are dropping him for some reason right here on the stairs and they're all landing right there. So let's make sure that's a non-issue. Down here on the bottom, I'm going to dig out a bunch more stuff. So let's make it four high as usual. Come over all the way and then three high. Also, that has a reason uh, that I will explain here in a second. So let's first give the dig command. Let's make sure all this here gets dug up. And why are we building this here the way we are? Let's take a look into power. Natural gas generator. It has the effect of creating 67.5 grams of polluted water and 22.5 grams of carbon dioxide. The carbon dioxide is a non-issue, but the polluted water, we need to get rid of it somehow. And the petroleum generator is even worse. It generates 750 grams a second of polluted water. So all of that needs to go somewhere. We're going to plop all of these into here and collect all the water down here, build in a pump and get rid of it this way. That's what we're going to do here all the way on the bottom. Since this is a system that a dupe doesn't have to touch, I'd rather have the industry on the top while having this stuff here on the bottom. That is the general idea. Also up here on the top, we will also need a couple more things. Um, we will need a kiln, actually two of them. So let's plop two of them right into here. That should be okay. Um, actually, it won't be okay. Uh, let me get rid of him because we need to find some space for him first. So we might as well build our metal refineries, one here and one right there. That's where they will go. We are not going to hook him up or do anything with him right now. Uh, that is just so I can see where I have space for my kilns. I'm going to have one here and one there maybe. That should be fine. 
we just gonna spread them out a little bit. I want to have one for ceramic and one for refined carbon. That's the two things that we need and we might as well build them right over here. That's where we will need them later. So that should be working out just fine. And our dupes are building away over here and over here that is now built. So let's go to stations. And we're gonna grab an Atmosuit checkpoint. We're gonna plop it right here. And then we're gonna build some Atmosuit docks just along here. Uh, how many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's make it seven, why not? Hook it up to power, as well as to air, or oxygen, better to say. So we actually get the resources in here that we need. And then, of course, we will also do some Atmosuits. Without Atmosuits, that whole thing is kind of pointless. But first, the gas pipe. We're gonna make it insulated and we're just gonna split off right there, come out down to the bottom and feed it into there, just like that. And up here in our exosuit forge, we're gonna build seven more suits built out of iron. And over here, the last pieces of pipe are being laid. The bottle emptier, we can use maybe one more piece that goes in here. That should be fine. The vacuum pump here is done. So we're gonna rip out all this stuff here as well. We won't need it anymore now that we have a nice vacuum in here. All that we're gonna get from now on in there is going to be natural gas so we're gonna rip it all out we're gonna build a gas pump in there we just need a normal one not a filtered one and the reason is really easy and that is that we just don't have anything else in here anymore other than natural gas and i just plopped the gas pump in there i'm not gonna hook it up to anything right now because we're not gonna use this system here for a little bit we will eventually but for right now that's fine the only other thing that I have here, a little problem with, is the Atmos sensor. We don't have any place to build it. The only place to build it would be right here, which is also fine. I'm probably just going to build it right there. I'm going to build an automation wire all the way over to there. Not optimal, but it is what it is. Should have probably left a little bit more space in here, but that's fine. It's going to be very compact, which is always good. And I think the last thing that we need to do is actually put the steam turbine up to here. That's what we got to do. That goes straight into there. That's actually one space too far over. So let's uh, cancel this here. Right us one more time. Where's the steam turbine? We're going to put it right here. And then we can actually get rid of that excess wire right there as well. Just like that. That's exactly what that should look like. And then we can finally and slowly start to do something right here. This year, we will also need to fill it up with something, and we're probably gonna make it petroleum. Petroleum is a lot better than crude oil, so we're gonna produce some in here, and then we will see how this whole system here works out. So we will actually use it just for a tiny amount of time. Also, this whole system over here, we may as well kill it, because we don't have any use for it anymore. Now that we have pumps that are actually just blowing out straight into space, yeah, we're gonna get rid of this entire thing here, everything that we have. We don't need any of it anymore. It's gonna come straight across and this entire wire can go all the way up to the top just like that we're gonna get rid of this no need for it whatsoever we're gonna have a little bit of polluted water in here that's just coming out of the pipes we're just gonna mop that up and everything else we're gonna tear out like it has never existed wonderful and this area here is filled so we can put in our first generators let's take a look at that so let's see once again it needs 90 grams a second i think we can easily build two of them how about that we're gonna build one here and one right beside it uh, let's put it right there and all we're gonna do is with our heavy water wire we're gonna come straight across just like that perfect that's all we want and then we need to build some ventilation over because we need that uh, gas that we have all the way over here that's currently just hooked up to this random gas vent that we use to vacuum out this area so we gotta get rid of this here that is for sure and we're gonna get rid of or we gotta rebuild this entire thing here actually as a matter of fact and i just realized that that is a hell of a lot easier said than done because of how i built it there's really no way to get past here <laughs> oh my so we gotta get rid of all this here that needs to go and then we're gonna build a new insulated gas pipe let's see maybe at this height right here that should be okay we're gonna build it over to there gonna come over to here and then over here we're gonna come with our pipe over gonna build it down to here here we're gonna need a bridge gonna build it all the way down to here another bridge right there and then we will build it all the way over to our power brick so let me do that and this here is what the finished construct looked like so we're coming down all the way along here all the way over to here all the way to the left side down all the way over and feeding it into there we can also see we have outputs right there these outputs are for the carbon dioxide that we are taking out we could literally just put it right here because it literally does not matter. Um, we could also build a pipe all the way back over and went it out into space. I don't think there's a point in that. So what are we going to do is we're just going to build a high pressure gas vent. High pressure gas vent is 20 kilograms. It'll be a little bit until we reach that. That's going to be at the bare minimum a temporary solution. And then we're just going to build a pipe up to here. It doesn't even have to be insulated. Screw it. Uh, just a waste of resources, really. So we're going to build it on, out of a normal gas pipe. 
and just hook it up like that. Pretty easy and straightforward. We're just going to dump all this stuff right here. It literally doesn't matter since every dupe that comes over here has a yeah, no suit on. We're also going to expand this area here drastically and potentially we may just uh, dig up all the way to space on the left side here just so we can then dump all that shit into space on this side as well. But for right now, this is what that should look like. Uh, the only other thing that we need, of course, is on the bottom here, a tile right here and a tile right there. And this is to catch the polluted water. And then we need a mesh tile and I think the mesh tile is in this position right here if I'm not completely mistaken. So we're going to plop that in right away as well. And then all we have to do is pump in that gas. So let's get that done. Let's take a look on how this here looks like. And once we have that, I think this is a good moment to end the episode. We will not need our cooling loop yet. It's really doing nothing. It's a negative 8.4 degrees. So water would have already completely destroyed it. Thankfully, we are not using water. Uh, but once this whole area here starts to heat up a little bit, that one will come quite in handy and we will produce even more uh, power by using the steam turbine right here i just realized that this liquid pipe sensor here it gives a green signal only when it detects it so we want to reverse that the only way to do that is with a not gate so we're going to grab us a not gate in our automation overview where you at there you are we're going to build you out of iron doesn't matter we're going to turn you around just like that and that's how we're going to do this uh, here we have our atmos sensor so let's say we're going to go above let's say 200 grams if it is above 200 grams in here then we're gonna pump it down here and we can see that now our natural gas generators start to work as well we need a uh, smart battery in here right beside it and we're just gonna plop it in there and what we also need to do is we need to turn these here on so let's do this and we are now getting a steady supply of a thousand grams of natural gas pumped through the entire base at 60 degrees celsius so let's take a look how we are looking over here now that we have turned it on it's pumping it all the way through the base all the way over to here and should then supply these two natural gas generators which are then dumping their polluted water here on the floor we just need a little bit of an automation wire that comes all across here that is okay and this one singular piece here is going to run these natural gas generators here the natural gas we have quite a lot of so i'm gonna say the high threshold is let's say 90 and the low threshold is 30. We're going to make it different than this one here. So we want these here to turn off at 90% and these here at 80%. They're going to have the exact same amount in them. Uh, as soon as our gas comes by, here's a little bit of gas coming. Oh, it's not a little bit. It's the main supply. The main supply is here. And now we are producing tons and tons of power. Actually, our coal generators here should stop working pretty soon. Right now. And from now on, only our natural gas generators should be producing our power. And if we get in a bind, then the coal generators will turn on. Just like that. Wonderful. But this automation up here, as I said earlier, is not working. Uh, yeah, we need to get rid of it. That is not as I intended it to be. So we're going to just rip it out entirely. This entire thing here, all of it has got to go. And at this point here, our dupe will just come by and run this refinery probably up until it's all the way full. Then the output pipe should be blocked. And yeah, that should be that. Pretty easy and straightforward. Not a big deal at all. Now that we have this here built, let's see. This here is also slowly feeding in there. That is just how it's going to work. It's going to be very slow and painful, but um, it'll be okay. And let's take a look at the heat. Yep, they're slowly but steadily heating up, so we need to put a little bit of cooling in. Obviously, right at the moment, it's not a problem yet. It's at 21 degrees because the surrounding air is still so freezing cold. It will take a good while until we heat that sucker up. But let's take a look at our cooling loop. So currently, we are coming around here and then going back up over here. We're going to come down to here, over to there, down to here, back over, and then we're going to come back up. That is exactly how we are going to build this. It should just take a second for a dupe to come by and actually build it. And then all we have to do is take the snipping tool, do it like this. Currently, obviously, it's not doing anything, but that will change really quick. And currently, we also don't have to worry about our polluted water. We don't have to pump it out because it's going to freeze since the surrounding is still so, so freezing cold. Now that we have the first petroleum here, let's take a look. And here's our loop built and our petroleum is coming out at 10 kilograms a second and we are just pumping it all the way over here all the way up until it is full just like that easy peasy lemon squeezy we need 800 kilograms in here when we have 800 kilograms in here that thing is ready to roll and we can actually make a little bit of steel and the full 800 kilograms are reached and all we have to do now is use our snipping tool snip it off right there and get rid of the bridge we don't need the bridge anymore at all and after making a little bit of a mess and having all this petroleum here sitting around, we are now actually having all three of our metal refineries full. 
and I'm at a tiny little change down here. Let's see with this overview. I extended our pipe or our cooling loop better to say to come around here and also take the heat away from this room. It was getting quite warm in there. Well, that is certainly not the case anymore. We are certainly getting there down here. We are also keeping a steady 25, 27 degrees and we are currently running mainly on natural gas and we're going to run on petroleum here soon. But that will be in the next episode. So this here is what the beginnings of our power brick look like. We have a lot more stuff to put in here. We are not producing any plastic yet or anything of the like. So there's certainly a hell of a lot more to come. And uh, we also need to do something about this gas here eventually. Currently, not really an issue, but at some point in time, we will have to do something. Also, we are producing uh, not quite enough oxygen. That is a uh, well given. So when we take a look here, we need to do something about this here. And that will be the number one priority for the next episode. Our one little electrolyzer over here is not going to keep up with the demand. We have too many uh, atmosuit docks. Uh, we have too many dupes. So we don't have any more algae. We have used up all of our algae. So all of our production is currently coming from here. We're going to plop in a couple more. Probably two, actually. Over here on this side. Yeah, we're going to use this water that we have in here by now eight tons per tile. So we have plenty of water sitting around in here. And we may even hook up this reservoir here instead of having a reservoir there. We could just straight take the desalinator and the water that comes out here, put it into our storage over here. So we're going to feed everything off of here. That's probably going to happen, but not in this episode. Today, we have done more than enough. Let's take another look at our base. So what have we accomplished today? Mainly our power brick here. We put in an atmosuit dock over here. We dug out this entire area. We rebuilt a little bit over here. Not sure if I showed you this, but I've just built a straight line through here. Also, this here needs to be cleaned up eventually. But currently, that is certainly not on the priority list on the very top. So that is what we have done for today. I hope you are happy with the end result, uh, or better to say the intermediary result. There's a hell of a lot more coming, as I said. At this point, all I have left to say is thank you very much for watching. If you enjoy the content, please subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video and comment down below. What do you think about this kind of setup for a power brick? It does not really work the way that you would expect it to work, at least not yet. It is way too cold in this biome here that we actually use this whole entire top part. That is literally just there for looks right now. It will be a good amount of time before we use that. The only thing that's currently heating it is the metal refinery and the liquid pipe sensor is still turned off. But with that, I say thank you and peace.